Hi all, welcome back. Today in this video, we will be discussing on how to display product pricing according to the business needs in the website of the company in Odoo 16. For that, let me go to the products and create a new product. And let me create a new product from here. And if you want, you can start this product to the favorites. And as you can see, the product type is consumable. So let me keep it as consumable. And let me give the sales price as 100. And here you can see there is a customer tax here. So as you can see, it is 5%. And let me save this product. So I have given the name of the product as bag and if you go to the website, you have the option to publish this product in your website of a company. So let me publish it in the website of my company. And after publishing it, you can now go to the website module and you can go to the shop here. So before going to the shop, you can go to the configuration settings and you have the feature to display the product pricings. So here you have two options. That is tax excluded and tax included. So depending on your business needs, you can choose the feature from here. So if you enable the feature tax excluded, the products in your e-commerce will be shown without the tax. So if you go again to the shop of your website, and if you search for the product that you've created, here you can see the price is hundred. So here the 5% customer tax is not added to the product. That is the sales price to the sales price of the product. It is not added as we have enabled the option tax excluded from the configuration settings. And now if you go again to the settings here, you have the second option that is tax included where if you want to show the or display the products with the tax amount you can enable this feature and if you now go to the e-commerce that is the shop of your website and search for the product that you've created you can see now the five percent tax is added to the product and it is displayed as 105 so 100 is the sales price of this product and 5% the access added to the product. And now let me add this product to the order line or the cart. And here as I have added the product to the cart, you can see here the details in the cart here. And let me proceed to the checkout. So once you have proceed to the checkout, you can do the payment with the appropriate payment methods so let me pay for this product and you can see the sale order has been done for this product so this is how you display your products in e-commerce with your tax included and excluded prices according to your needs that's all for today thank you